with a superb project. We're in the Danish forest here. School kids are actually creating microhabitats here. Yeah, we started in full, uh, asking them if they were interested in, in working with us uh, in, in building the superb project. Uh, and they already were doing all these kind of uh, biodiversity programs for themselves. Um, so we thought it was like natural that they should, they should be part of, of our project. My first impression was like, why are we going out to, into a field? Um, because when I was little and still, I'm like, this is a forest already. I did not understand um, what, the, what it was that we needed to do. But after some times where we have been out here and we have seen this field, then it was like, okay, we can do something here. We can like uh, increase the biodiversity. Uh, so I was like, this is actually kind of cool. And then I, I really wanted to, to do it. nice to be able to to give them not only just hard theory in a classroom but actually be able to take them out and have them work practically with with all this theory that they are learning also that we are not just doing this as a one-time thing but we can actually build on it so year after year they can actually come back now and and see the process the ring is, ringing is gonna take a long time uh, before it's like in a year all the what would you call these uh, needles? No. Needles. <laughs> the needles will be gone yeah. in a year. But uh, so it's gonna be a long process. So we do some extra stuff to make it go a bit faster. Yeah. We're sort of uh, maiming them a bit. Uh, we just learned that uh, if we cut like a ring around the bark and like a little bit into the tree, then we cut off the water circulation, with, which slowly helps the tree uh, deform and die, so critters and stuff can eat it. So down to the very practical questions about like why do we do what we do they seem to ask this a lot um, some of them are concerned that we are you know are we cutting down too many trees they need to like know why are we cutting down so many trees and and which trees but then we actually start again being practical about it we can actually go and look at the trees like what are considered sort of invasive species here in two tell them about why why we need to remove them and for them to see it and then be able to work on it as well makes those I mean those concerns less we learned a lot in the school about how the, how these trees doesn't do any anything uh, and how we need to make it more like that's a tree here that's a tree here not on the straight lines so it was really fun trying to make this by instead of just looking at a forest and be like this is a forest no it is actually not a forest this we are trying to do here is more like a forest. Uh, we learned a lot about like what actually matters in like biodiversity and it, that is just, just not having a lot of nature, it's having different kinds of nature and levels of nature. So we kind of learned how to um, prioritize those things and what, what's best for like say a forest like this but also like um, big open areas like the ones we're working on over there and um, with a lot of help from uh, the people uh, helping us with this but also in our um, biology and our ge geography we learned a lot about like different types of stuff so um, generally just like having a new perspective of, on nature and how it affects us and how we can affect it to be better and I think that's the what this is all about like we are in this big transition period right now especially here in Chile where we are at and um, where most of what we consider the landscape to look like will change uh, and to bring these kids into to this change and, and actually have them teach us how this change should look like uh, and we can actually also learn like this for instance could be a really interesting gateway to the rest of the project because it is so visual that's something they have taught us uh, and taught our biologists that that this could actually also work we have been looking at their plans um, and discussing you know are they efficient enough 
when we had that discussion, we were actually talking about some of the things that we do to increase that biodiversity is on a really holistic scale when it comes down to the individual sort of microhabitat. You can actually put a lot of different tools to use and it doesn't really matter the, like the precision of it. It creates sort of a, a space for to be creative really. And I mean, that's where the kids come in and actually help us to, to be creative where we normally do a, perhaps a more boring, more secure way of, of thinking. Thank you.